And hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> um, I think most of you already had a chance to at least introduce yourself and say hi to Kathleen. So uh, my introduction is going to be uh, real short and sweet. Everybody, Kathleen Kane. <laughs> Thank you all very much for coming. I know it's rainy and it's the middle of the day and you have busy lives. So I appreciate you taking the time. Well, the Attorney General is defined um, by the law as the Chief Law Enforcement Officer of the state, and it's an independent agency. There are numerous responsibilities. Um, it is crime prevention. It is prosecution. It is also charitable trust, making sure that um, you know nothing shady is going on with the charitable trust, with the funds that are supposed to be used for a specific purpose. It is also a huge civil division. Uh, which encompasses a lot of consumer protection issues also, which are meant to be for the people, of, to protect the people of Pennsylvania. The Attorney General is not only the Chief Law Enforcement Officer of the state when it comes with, deals with crime, but also when it deals with consumer protection issues. Because I have been a career prosecutor, I started in the Lackawanna County DA's office in 1995 and I worked there as a prosecutor for over 12 years. I prosecuted thousands of cases. I specialized in child sexual abuse, elder abuse and public corruption. And because of that, I know the skill that you need to be the chief law enforcement officer of the state. And you know, my mother always said, if you want something done right, just go ahead and do it yourself. And that's what I believe. I don't believe that the office should go to politics. I believe that it needs to be run by a qualified law enforcement officer because it does affect people's everyday lives. And I decided on the Attorney General's office because it's what I love to do. It's what I know. It's what I, I'm good at. And I believe that I have a great service to offer the people of Pennsylvania. Well, first, um, Pennsylvania law is unique unto itself. Every state has their own set of criminal laws, and um, I am familiar with the laws regarding child sexual assault in Pennsylvania. I've prosecuted hundreds of cases, investigated hundreds of cases, and unfortunately, they are the most heinous of crimes, just the most heinous, and every prosecutor knows they are the toughest crimes to prosecute because you're dealing with the child, you're dealing with acts of... Um, embarrassment to, that are embarrassing to the child, sexual acts that even adults feel uncomfortable talking about in an open court of law or even with each other. So they are very tough cases to prosecute. With regard to San, the Sandusky case, I have to say I, I read the presentment at 2 in the morning and as a prosecutor I was very shocked um, by the allegations and as a mother I was completely disgusted. I have a 10-year-old little boy, I have a 9-year-old little boy. All I could think about was what was running through that poor boy's mind as he's being raped in the shower. And worse yet, what was going through his mind when he thought the cavalry was coming in to save him? They didn't save him in that minute, they didn't save him that night, that week, that year, not even in that decade. And to me, that is a complete violation of the trust that you know, police and prosecutors and adults have two children. It does take a village to raise the children. There to raise children. There is no doubt about it. And I believe that the system, I believe that the organization, the institution, the bureaucracy failed those children. The case is now in the Attorney General's office and in fact the next Attorney General that we will elect next November will in all likelihood prosecute the Sandusky case. Uh, and I believe it's got to be by a prosecutor who is well versed in child sexual assault in Pennsylvania. We have laws that protect the children. We have laws, for example, a jury instruction that says the testimony only in a sexual assault case, the testimony of the victim alone, if believed by the jury, is enough to convict beyond a reasonable doubt. That is a very important jury instruction and if you don't know to give that to the jury, justice may not be carried out on that day. Under the law, I believe that the institution itself failed because of a bigger problem. Because we allowed, we as a society or they as an institution, allowed uh, the question of what constitutes child sexual abuse to be determined by laymen. 
a group of the administrators got together or the athletic director and decided this doesn't constitute child sexual assault, so we don't actually have to report it, and they kept it to themselves. They kept it to themselves for ten, almost 10 years. That's a problem. So we have a lot of work to do as a society, both morally as well as changing some laws. You would never think that maybe we have to say to grown men and women, you have to protect a child. You need to charge in. You need to save the child when you see something happening. We wouldn't think that we would ever have to tell anyone that. But now that we know that we do. So now we should extend the law um, to make it that all suspected cases of child abuse reported in good faith, and that's very important, reported in good faith, need to go directly to a child services line as well as to the police because that gives us accountability as a society, it gives us accountability as an institution, and it gives us accountability to the children that we are morally obligated to protect and to make sure that they are safe. I think that the AG's office has done a pretty good job in um, law enforcement. I would change a couple of things. I would change the fact that we can't just focus only on drug prosecutions. Um, I believe that we need to focus more on internet predators. It's actually under Pennsylvania law called sexual abuse of children. There are highly specialized agents who can do that work. There are highly, we need to make sure that there are specialized prosecutors who do that work, and we need to work with the local DA's offices too. We can't fight for funding um, and take over something that everyone should be doing. It shouldn't be one agency only doing child predator uh, internet porn. It should be our entire state. So I would change that about it. I would also try and help the local municipalities when it comes to gangs and drug dealing. Um, I believe that the Attorney General's office has a broad scope and that they have the resources and the manpower and they have the ability to go anywhere in the state. Sometimes it, well, you have to be invited by local law enforcement, but they can make targeted approaches to law enforcement, targeted approaches to gangs, targeted approaches to drug enforcement. And small towns, uh, perhaps even in York County, have those problems. They may not have the resources, either the manpower, or they may not have the money or the expertise to deal with things like the drug trafficking or the gangs or the meth labs. And I believe that the Attorney General needs to work with the counties and with the local DA's offices, with the state police, and we need to make a targeted uh, cooperative approach. I would also change, I, I don't believe that consumer protection is as strong as it should be in this state. The Attorney General is the most powerful consumer protector for the people of Pennsylvania. I don't believe that we've seen that in recent years. We need to pay more attention to public corruption. Public corruption has eroded um, not only our government, but it's eroded the trust of the people of Pennsylvania. We have a low voter turnout for a reason, because people just don't feel inspired to go to the polls anymore. We need to change that. They need to be able to trust whomever their elected official is, and we've, that's a real problem not only in our state, but in our country. And we change it one county at a time, one office at a time, and we make sure that we elect quality leaders who are have the qualifications to do their job and who are doing it for the right reason. Well, something immediately came to mind. I have, I've been working since I was 13 and we always had to be responsible. You know, our family didn't have a lot of money and if you wanted something, you had to work and get it. Times I had three jobs, but when I went to law school, I literally went with a hundred dollars, not just in my pocket, but in my entire bank account. So I waited for my student loans to come through, but towards the end of the semester, I wouldn't have any money left. I got stuck at Temple in you know North Philadelphia, and I didn't even have enough money to take the subway home. I was so angry. I had to walk through North Philadelphia by myself, and all I kept thinking was no one is even going to mess with me here because I am so angry that I don't even have five dollars for the subway to get home. But you know, it made me a better person. And at the time, I could hear my mother saying, 
builds character, builds character. And my response was, I've got enough character. I don't want any more. Somebody just give me some money for the subway to go home. <laughs> but um, I said to my mother once, you know, you've, you've helped my sister, you've helped my brother. How come you never helped me? How come you never sent me that $10 at Temple? And she said, because I knew that you would do it yourself. Thank you, everybody, for coming yes. out. And, and thank you, Catherine. Thank you very we much. Really enjoyed it. I'm running because I really do care about the people of Pennsylvania. I really do. That's not just a campaign slogan. I don't have to go out and find a job. You know, my, my children aren't going to starve, and thank God for that. Um, but I believe that we have, with great privilege comes great responsibility. I have the opportunity to do great things for this state. And I believe that I should never just sit home and I teach that to my children too, that you have a responsibility to your community. If you can fix things, if you can make them better, if you can make someone's life easier or safer, then darn it, you better get out there and do it because we live in a community and we have to take care of each other. That's why I'm running for attorney general. It isn't so that I can you know, be a governor or be a senator. I love law enforcement. It's my passion, and that's why I want to run. And it's also because, you know, I'm good at it.